I hope you guys all conquered the day. Easy auto fix here and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad water pump. The whole purpose of the water pump is to circulate coolant throughout the cooling system. The water pump will usually be located behind the timing chain cover or outside of the engine near the serpentine belt. The first symptom of a bad water pump is having your check engine light on. Now you won't get a code specifying a bad water pump since most water pumps are mechanical, but you might see a P0217 indicating that your engine's overheating. This code is triggered if the ECT senses the engine coolant temperature getting too hot. Now you can read this code by going to the parts store near you and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. Now you can still have a faulty water pump with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom is noticing a leak coming from the weep hole. When the seals inside the water pump start to fail, coolant leaks past them and goes out the weep hole. The weep hole was designed to let you know the water pump is starting to go bad. There's instances where brand new aftermarket water pumps leak from the weep hole, so I recommend using OEM to save you time and money. The third symptom is your engine overheating. You'll notice your temperature gauge on hot, or in worse situations, you might see smoke coming out of your engine. The reason for this is due to the water pump failing to circulate the coolant throughout the system to cool down the engine. The fourth symptom is hearing a whining sound. This happens when the bearings inside the water pump start to fail, or the pulley attached to the water pump is loose, creating back and forth motion, generating noise. The fifth symptom is noticing your heater not warming up. Now since the heater works by having hot coolant going through the heater core, transferring hot air inside your car by a blower motor, if the water pump fails, it will never be able to circulate coolant to your heater core, resulting in poor heating performance. Perfect, we just learned symptoms of a bad water pump. If you guys learned something new today and wanna see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next video.